heavy sanctions levied against Russia are taking their toll on the Russian people. They were put in place, however, to hurt Russian President Vladimir Putin and the circle of oligarchs he does business with. We have seen their toys, the mega yachts, the mansions, the private jets, and news of their assets being seized had many thinking that it was hitting the oligarchs where it hurt. Or is it? News Nation correspondent Kelly Beeson is here. Kelly, the oligarchs may actually be benefiting um, from this war and what we've seen happen, the opposite effect of the intended targets. Isn't that incredible? Mm -hmm. And they may be in some cases, Marnie, it has to do with how their wealth exploded. When you take a look back at the origins of the oligarchs, it paints a more complete picture. Mansions, vacation homes, private jets and yachts, just some of the toys of Russian oligarchs. The term defines individuals that stepped in and privatized sectors once government owned under the Soviet Union. Sectors like steel, iron, aluminum, and oil. Many oligarchs becoming enormously wealthy in a short amount of time and holding allegiance to Putin, who helped to facilitate their position after the USSR's collapse. It is common knowledge that many of their uh, profits and wealth have come from uh, nefarious activities. The fact that they control that much power, they are uh, a threat to the United States. Since the invasion of Ukraine, more than a dozen oligarchs have had their assets frozen and flashy boats, cars, and homes seized. All an attempt to further isolate the Russian president, putting pressure on his regime to stop the bloodshed. Many of these oligarchs have spent a lifetime doing nothing but hiding assets and dodging uh, one regulation or another. Perhaps the highest profiled oligarch is Roman Abramovich, a businessman with stakes in the steel industry. Also owner of the Chelsea soccer team and the world's second largest yacht sitting at 533 feet with a price tag of $400 million. Many of these individuals will in fact have ownership in LLCs, shell companies, private businesses, that are located in tax havens and in you know jurisdictions that do not have you know proper anti-money laundering compliance regimes and regulations. Sanction expert Tim White says many oligarch assets are also many times in different names. So are these sanctions packing a punch? While some oligarchs may feel the pinch. Many are also heavily invested in commodities with prices that have skyrocketed as a result of the invasion, potentially having the opposite effect. These oligarchs can potentially be actually profiting from uh, the conflict. And Quelch goes on to say, in time, Russia may also hold assets that belong to U.S. companies as bargaining chips to release the assets of the oligarchs. Mm. Meanwhile, the Russian people, the ruble is worth basically nothing. They're the ones who suffer. Kelly, Absolutely. thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.